So, as you can see, we bought a paddleboard. This is an inflatable paddleboard, specifically, it's a paddleboard from Audi. It's an Aqua Cruise, I think it's like an Aqua Cruise 110 or something. It's, wait for cars to go by. It's 10 foot, it's pretty high quality. We've taken it out once just to test, test ride it, caught like a little few things on it. Um, other than that, we already inflated it because honestly, I think you guys don't really want to see that the guy inflate something. I mean, if you want to see that, I mean, I can leave links to like other channels, websites. I mean, if you guys are into that kind of thing, I mean, I can really leave that in like a link down below. I mean, this video might get shadow banned or banned, but you know, hey. But other than that, let me take you through this little thing, show you what we have done so far, and let's get on the water. So here it is. The main thing we've really only done is taken this off of my old kayak, put it on here. It's a really nice little functional uh, little storage compartment, carrier, whatever you want to call it, tackle box. I like this guy a lot more. It's called a black pack. I like this more than egg cartons. It's a little bit more expensive, honestly. I just really think it looks a lot cleaner and professional and I'm, I don't know. I guess I'm kind of bougie, but it comes with these nice guys right here, which store your rods nice and perfectly, just like that. Reach back, grab those. You have this little strap right here, which does that. Holds it down like a little lock. You open this up, and it's literally just a storage. So I have my lunch right here. I have all the safety gear that I need for this little dude. I have all my uh, lures right here. And that's really all we have done. So let me put this back in there. Strap that back on. And I guess, you know, we also got this little seat cushion from Walmart, which somehow fits beautifully on top of that. So that's going to be very nice for today and then up here the paddleboard already comes with these little bungee cords up here really nice holds this down and then i still need to put my fin on but other than that now let's go get on some fish okay let's get this guy on down to the water Ooh, that's kind of steep right there Ooh, that's just all dirt okay so we're gonna do like that we're gonna come back up grab all the other stuff grab all the gadgets grab this dude grab my paddle strap this down and then getting the black pack on here might be a little tricky but don't think it's gonna be impossible so we're just gonna put the paddle like that and we'll just throw that dude right there climb back up this mountain get your good leg workout in come over here grab your black pack this is really why I love this thing right here because I can have my rods on here, all my gear, and look at this. Just grab right here, grab right here, lift up, boom. Perfect. I know there's a lot of DIY solutions to this. I like those, but again, this just looks a little cleaner. I like it. And you can also buy used ones of these, which is very nice. As you can tell, I'm kind of already out of breath. Don't judge me. <laughs> Some of us are fat, you know? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, set him right there. Oh, okay. I'm just going to take my shoes off, I think. This is not the most ideal <laughs> launch off. I mean, oh, there's a big pleco right there. That's cool. Okay. Let's just grab you. Put you down here. Okay, this is good. This is good. I like this. Have that like that. Come over here. Grab our black pack. Don't slip waddle on over here put you on there like such then we're gonna grab our hose put you back here move you up a little bit oh that's gonna be a comfy seat for the day Ooh, I'm excited <laughs> get that in there now let's just get the fin off and look at that there she is she beautiful she pretty The first lure we are going to start out today is this Catchco Baby Bull Shad with a bluegill color. Really nice freaking lure. Haven't thrown it yet. Just see how it swims. Oh my god. Oh, you got to get out of here with that. You got to get out of here with that. Oh, baby. Oh. It casts beautifully. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh, that thing is money. 
And with this current, I barely even have to swim it to make it do anything. Oh, that's nice. I don't know if the GoPro picks that up, but the shine on that thing in that water. Wow. Right up in there. Right up in there. I think this is a long stretch of river too, so we don't have to stay at any one spot particularly long. We have fished this spot a few times and you can only by foot get down to a certain point. So today our main goal is to fish these good spots, but then we, I wanna go explore far down today. That's what I wanna do. That's the main goal for today is just explore and see what we can catch. And honestly, it's gonna sound stupid, but it is so hard to cast when you're fishing in a spot like this because it's just so freaking beautiful and this is just so much fun that you forget you're even fishing sometimes. Oh, oh, we had a fish. We had a fish follow him in. Let me take this out so you guys can maybe actually hear. So we were floating down and I saw this nice little piece of structure over here with this water coming out and we had a nice little fish chase us on this baby bull, uh, bull shad the bluegill pattern maybe like a pound pound and a half but he came right out from under this piece of structure right over here so we're just going to try and target this a few more times i think the key for today is going to be to fish the good looking spots for like max 10 minutes and then just keep going we have a good amount of water to cover so i think that's going to be the key to get us in and out there is a huge freaking snake head right in front of us oh my god if we can oh my god that thing is freaking huge oh my god that was a giant that was like a five pound snake head right in front of me oh my god i've never caught one i've caught a bowfin so they're similar i'm sorry because i couldn't reach down and grab the camera it's in the it's in the black pack but that was a huge Snakehead. Okay, guys, I think we're on the juice. Oh, guys, we just hooked up big. We just hooked up big. We just hooked up big. I was talking about snakeheads. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. This is on paddle point. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Yeah. What's up? Oh, my God. That is a tank of a bass, guys. Oh, we got to land this guy. Oh, we're going into the freaking bushes over here. Oh, come on, guys. Come on. Oh, come on, baby. Let's go. He is dogging me right now. Oh, I'm stuck over here. Oh, come on. Come on, Rod. Oh, come on, Rod. What are we doing? What are we doing back here? Oh, come on. Okay, good, 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 good. My rod behind me got stuck. We got to get this guy in. Oh, that is a tank of a freaking largey right here that we have. Oh, this is amateur hour. Oh, my God. Oh, you don't have any hooks in your mouth. Oh, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here, mama. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Look at that. The freaking lure actually popped off. It's actually hooked inside of me right now, but look at this fish. Look at that. That is easily a nice three and a half or four pounder right there. That is what we're looking after. That is our first true fish off of this $99 paddleboard. Think about that while you're fishing off your $75,000 bass boat. Let's go! <laughs> we're gonna get a good release on this guy and go get mom, dad, papa, granddaughter, ma, the freaking cousins, aunties, uncles. Oh, let's go! <laughs> let's let her go. See you, mama. Okay, so this is undoubtedly the most important part of fishing, uh, eating, um, yeah. So we got leftovers from, I think the place is called Agave Azul. 
You gotta check this out. This, whoa, buddy. That's even nicer than the fish. You got that nice chili verde burrito. We're gonna smash this real quick. Oh, get that done. Get a little bit fatter so this uh, paddle board really is getting a true testament of how fat I really am. But, uh, oh, oh, uh oh. Look, look, see, I'm already busting stuff up. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna eat this and get on some more fish. Water is like the perfect color right now to throw really anything that shines it stands out in the water crazily the water is perfectly stained right now to a point where you can still see the fish they might be able to see you but only if they're like right up on top of you so this is like the perfect color I always love this right here where I can't see like what's up ahead we're gonna see together oh this is gonna be so cool oh that looks like money come on Look at this, oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, almost lost our rod right there. Okay, beautiful moment over, I guess. Oh, come on, guys. Look at this, just untouched. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is what I'm saying, like right now, I should probably be like flipping up under this cover and everything, but I'm just so distracted by just, just this. Look at this. <laughs> We have our first true obstacle up here. It's a low hanging bridge that really doesn't look like it's been used in ages. Let's see if we can make it up under this thing. Just sit down and hope to God that there's no wasps or bats or anything scary. Huh. That's pretty cool. Oh, you guys can't really see because that's really cool. <laughs> and the old paddle board and the old Aldi paddle board right here, guys. Again, 99 bucks. That's 99 bucks I've ever spent. <laughs> and this is number three right there. That is a chunker too. That's not a bad fish right there, guys. That's not a bad fish right there at all. Not at all. And I will go over the little worm that I'm using right in a second. Oh, this guy ate this thing. Goodness, bud. Ew, okay, that's off of you. On that weightless Gary Yamamoto paddle tail worm. Right there. Boom. Oh, he took my tail. He still has his tail. Okay. You can take that, bud. Mm. See ya. So, that rig that we were throwing is very simple, very easy to tie on, and rather cheap. Uh, it is just a Gary Yamamoto swim senko, which is basically a paddle tail. So, you can do this with a bunch of other different paddle tails. This is just the one I like, preferably. It has a nice heavy duty tail on the back of that, which displaces a lot of water and is why I just caught that fish. Good quality. And then for hooks, I personally like trocar hooks just because they have a very, very, very sharp arrowhead tip. And I just feel like bass don't get off of that. It's a really good hook. And I literally just rig that weedless and throw it around. You can fish it slow like you normally would a worm. You can bounce off the bottom. I prefer most of the times to reel it in a little slow let that tail kind of do work and then pop it a few times but yeah that's the rig we're using how many gators do you run into not not i haven't seen one yet not one <laughs> not one i always think i'm like man not yeah surprisingly i haven't seen anything i mean there's more spiders up under the bridge than anything so <laughs> Yeah, it uh, Aldi for I got it at Aldi for like ninety nine bucks. That's a great yeah, idea. I I actually so they were it was normally like I think two hundred dollars, but then they were getting rid of them, so there was two. I bought both of them for two hundred dollars, so basically one for free. That's awesome. <laughs> it's yeah, it's nice. <laughs> Cool people out here in Florida. Gotta love them. So I've been seeing a ton of bait fish. So we took off that little uh, gamakatsu worm, that paddle tail, and we tied on, or we're gonna throw around this little tiny, tiny uh, 
little zoom fluke. It is probably, I would say that's like maybe like three or four inches. And we're throwing that on a worm hook, not the most ideal hook to throw, but it still has that really good presentation. You can make that more weedless if you want. I'm kind of fishing it with that hook kind of popped out just so it's a little bit easier on the hookup, but that's what we're gonna start throwing around and hopefully catch something. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. Skip that dude up under there, see what's there. Fighting with these this ant is on my paddleboard right now, little dude. Just trying to turn us around right here. Fun thing about these paddle boards is they're so light you can honestly just like Tarzan your way through off of all of the plants and everything. Just kind of guide yourself through with the plant. It has like the coolest looking fishing wall right there. It's like a bunch of these I don't I think they're called elephant ear elephant ear plants. It's really cool looking. As I drift over into this plant over here, so let's push off push off of you that's like such a cool wall right there wow look at that like that's so cool I, I i know this video might be all over the place but i yeah i'm just i'm still mesmerized i'm sorry <laughs> i mean at this point you can't really be surprised that the gopro wasn't rolling but we caught this fat little freaking bass right here we're probably like two two and a half miles into our journey Caught this fat little dude right here on this uh, small little fluke. I'm gonna take this hook out, pop that on out. That little dude. Mwah. Yeet. Let's continue the journey. And yet again, another fish. <laughs> that GoPro was not rolling. <laughs> I really just need to get better at that though. And where's yet? Oh, we're under this tree. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Oh, this is so much fun, guys. I'm having a blast at the moment. Look at this nice, nice quality fish. Fish has probably never seen a fisherman, probably never seen a lure. I mean, that fish is just perfect. Fat little belly. That's just so cool. Oh, come on. So we came up to our literal, our first like literal like object, our like a block in our road. It's just this really thick grass. I'm pretty sure the paddle board should be able to skim over this. So we're just gonna give her a gander. If we can't, no big deal. It is, we have been out here for like four hours. So, you know, I'm not all that hurt if we don't get back here. But I just wanna see the capabilities of what a $99 paddleboard can do right now we're kind of struggling not too bad I think the only thing that's really hindering us is that uh, fin on the bottom of this I think it's just catching a lot of stuff and making it harder to get through this but we're getting through it I think we should be in the clear as soon as we get like five more feet but we're definitely getting through which is good news and I think we're just gonna explore down here for like maybe like 30 more minutes and then call it a video 
we got like a, if I had to guess, three, three and a half mile paddle. And then going home. Ooh, come on. Come on. Come on. You got it. You got it. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. We are basically through. We are in the clear. One, two, three. Push. Whew, there we go, guys. Okay, yeah, that fin, that fin is still back there. It's still getting caught on everything. Okay, there we go. We did it. I'm kind of confused right now because we saw this little like beach area. We docked, and we're behind a golf course. So, um, yeah. There's like a boat ramp down there. That's kind of cool. I'm not going to walk down there right now. There's no golfers out here, so that's always nice. It's nice when they're, you know, shoo shoo. But yeah, kind of confused. I think we need to go get back on the paddleboard and uh, go down further yonder. <laughs> so we're at where we started. It's going to be the end for this video. <sighs> that was like a maybe like an hour long paddle upstream, which was kind of a pain in the butt. But honestly, this paddleboard today really surprised me it is really good quality it's really comfortable for the past hour we've been sitting down on this guy really comfortable my butt's wet but that's not the paddleboard's fault uh the bungee straps held really good the black pack behind me held up really good everything held up really good the fin's still intact there's no scratches or anything on this guy so honestly for 99 bucks like i said i, I yeah i mean it's crazy how good this thing is for that price. But other than that, I am exhausted. Arms basically gone. So we're going to deflate this guy, which I didn't show you how I inflated it. So you don't need to really see how to deflate it. Again, there's websites for that. If you guys want to go look that up, if you're interested, I'll go link those down below. But other than that, oh goodness, I had a brain fart. Other than that, <laughs> I hope you guys like the video, comment, subscribe. And I hope you like this video because we have a lot more cool stuff coming up. That's all I can say. I'm not going to give any more hints. Other than that, see you guys. Have a good one. I'm going to go to bed. See ya.